Hi, what's up? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm about to show you a Snoop really sick in the emergency room, the emergency vet room, whatever you call it. Um, but I wanted to say he's doing a lot better now. So I didn't want to like make you sit through a 10 minute video not knowing, but I will show you what happened. I also forgot to intro this vlog because I went into dog mom mode and was stressed about my little baby being sick. That uh, I started vlogging while I was in there, but I didn't really say what was going on. We got home from Colorado. We walked in, Snoop, did not get up, didn't care that we were there. He was like out of it, super lethargic, didn't want to go on a walk. And then we were like, okay, well, he's tired. I guess he's playing with Jeter the whole time. And then we tried to feed him and he wanted nothing to do with the food. And Snoop is food driven. So we were all kind of like, oh, okay, this is weird. Let's see what's going on in the morning. Give him some love, watched him. The next morning, same. And he was kind of like shaking while he breathed in. So I took him to the emergency vet. And that's the footage you're gonna see. And you're gonna see the next the two days of emergency vet freaking out about Snoop. And um, yeah, so that's it. So we come back here, uh -uh. we're at the emergency vet. We've been here for two hours, but he wouldn't let anyone exam him. So they called me in here to exam him for them. <laughs> or we're gonna have to sedate him. When we first got him, he, was not good with people and always hated the vet. A lot of training with Joy. He's actually really good with people now, but he still hates the vet. And that's something that's really hard to train because in emergency situations like this, we can't like go through training things. So, oh, I haven't even told, I'm sorry, I'm everywhere. Hi, welcome to today. Snoop is causing concerns. <laughs> Last night we got home from our trip and Snoop wouldn't get up to greet us at the door. Joy was there and she's like, what is going on? And he, we immediately were like, all right, let's go on our pack walk. Like I'm home. It's a lot of excitement. Let's calm everyone down. And Snoop like didn't want to go on the walk. And he like didn't want to get up. He eventually got up like right as we were leaving. We're like, okay, you can stay back buddy. And then he met us at the door and was like, no, I want to come. So he went with us and he kept up and then it was dinner time and he did not eat. And this dog is a food fiend. Like he would eat until he passed out and he wanted nothing to do with his food. And then Joy was like, he was acting fine all day. I completely trust Joy. And she's like, this is really weird. And so all night I, I stayed up with him for to like midnight and then I went to bed. And this morning he still didn't want anything to do with food. He didn't want to get up. He wouldn't go piddle. He didn't want to say hi to little dog. He hadn't seen her all week. And then he was shivering while he was laying there and there's a lot of goop coming from his eyes. So the internet says everything that I was viewing led to infection. So he might've gotten some scrapes on him that got Infected, you know, he plays rough. So we are at the vet. He wouldn't let anyone touch him because he's a butthead. So now I'm here and I'm just really stressed, but I'm assuming it's just some antibiotics that he's gonna need. And then we'll be right as rain. Huh, bub bub? Huh, bub bub? Right as rain? Right as rain. Yeah, I get a little idiot. My girlfriend brought me a sandwich, which now all of a sudden you want? We just gave him a shot in the butt as a sedative. You can't have any. Now you're mad at me. Yeah. We took our sedative. I ate my sandwich and he's mad that I didn't give him any. You weren't eating, that's the reason you're here. That's the reason you were just given a sedative. He came back in, the, the vet came in and tried to examine him while I held him, but he just didn't like it. She didn't want him stressed because she wants to make sure that like she can read all his vitals and everything. And she needs to push on his tummy. She needs to look at his gums. She needs to hear his heart. She needs to take a rectal thermometer thing. So, oh, he's getting locked. He's getting. Come here, come here. We've done sedatives for him before. So he's gonna knock out soon. This is part of holding a big, big, big dog. Little dogs don't like that, it's not a big deal, but big ones, everyone's gotta be safe. This is a hard reality. Mwah. I love you. You're gonna go night night for an hour and you're gonna be groggy the rest of the day, but we're gonna figure out what's wrong with you, huh? Mwah. I've learned to always be super happy and peppy when you're in the vet room with your doggy, so they don't think anything's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh, it's a positive thing, huh? Yeah. I'm secretly a mess right now. All right, she came in, physical exam showed nothing. <laughs> he is drugged up. He uses muscle for when people come in, so everyone's safe. He's muscle trained, it doesn't bug him. I got fur all over my freaking mask. Anyway, physical exam, so nothing. So we are on to blood work and x-rays. Blood work to see, could be pancreatitis, um, it could be, this other autoimmune disease. There's a bunch of different things it could be. And then the x-rays because he might've swallowed something he wasn't supposed to, which isn't very like him at all. He only eats food. He has no desire to eat like random objects, but he may have something stuck in him. So we're gonna x-ray and we will see. But right now we're chilling. He let her examine him after he sedated. He was fine. Then. He's my boy. I love you. Staying happy and peppy. And when you cry a little. We're having a fun day together, you and me, huh? Just you and me. Yeah. Your siblings. I'm home. Hey, come here, bud, bud. Um, they took Snoop to two x-rays and blood work. I'm exhausted. 
but I know I'm making coffee because big yawns. I have to work and then go get that cashier's check from the dude who hit my car. I am very tired. Uh, oh, shush. My, sister, my girlfriend's listening to country music and trying to be supportive and act like it doesn't bug me, but I don't like it. <laughs> uh, so I actually don't mind it. Um, anyway, hi. I'm just stressed. I have a headache. Um, they, the vet called Snoop. Everything came back normal, so they still don't know what's wrong with him. Uh, they want me to come back and see if he'll eat for me. And then they had they did extra work. They sent out blood work and x-rays to someone to look more closely at them and to do more intense things. And so we'll have more answers or no answers tomorrow. I was just picking up my check from the guy and I got two things from a P.O. box. <sighs> and now I have to grab the truck and go pick up Snoop slash see if he'll eat for me. I'm a mess. We have a noop. We have pain meds. And we're going home. Dude, what's wrong with you? We still don't know. But he's happy to be in the truck. All right. It's been a while. I uploaded my video. Uh, my fans roast me is the name of the video. I actually cried laughing this morning filming it. Um, it, I, I, I don't think I've, I've laughed that hard filming a video. I asked Instagram to roast me and they did and it was absolutely hilarious. So if you wanna go check that out, go check that out. Snoop is home and he's like 10% more energetic and he ate um, baby food, but he has no interest in kibble still. So he's um, better. The vet keeps calling me, checking in on me. We're doing everything we can. All right, now it's actually girls night. So we've got a few friends here and we're cooking dinner. I'm not, what? No, they are cooking dinner and we're just chilling. So that's tonight. I'm trying to stay relaxed. Hi, um, it's Friday and we are back at the vet because his neck is extremely swollen. It was just the right side and now it's all of his neck right there. Um, and uh, he was shaking as he was sleeping. Like not a seizure, but like every breath in he shook. Um, that usually indicates pain. So we are back I got the emergency vet. Still don't know what's wrong. Um, but we'll figure it out hopefully. <laughs> Hi baby. She just came in and did an exam on him and we're gonna sedate him so they can take a biopsy of his neck and do a little bit more blood work um, and look in his gums and see if there's any like uh, bite marks, like in insect things happening. But she said uh, anti-inflammatories and antibiotics will most likely be given to him today. See that shiver? That means he's in pain. It's okay, bud. We're figuring it out. We're at the best place for you, bud. Might have cried a little bit to my girlfriend earlier, but for him, I'm going to be happy and just chill. Just belly rubs and happiness. Got your mommy. You want some belly rubs? You want some belly rubs? You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hoped for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to me. That's all. I'm bored and stressed. <laughs> I forgot to mention that today he has a fever. He has a pretty high fever. So the vet was actually like, I know it seems like things are getting worse, but this is better because it's letting us know what's going on. Still just cuddling, getting our cuddles in. I wanted to end this vlog on a good note. Um, I'll not make you guys wait to see if, you know, he's better. Look at this happy boy! Look at this happy boy! Uh, but he has been on the pain meds two days and the other meds uh, one day now, and he is doing a lot better. Yes! We mm -hmm. He's super energetic today. He ate two cans of dog food. Uh, you can tell, I mean, he's still swollen. He's not, I think, 100%, but he's like 75% better. Been on the meds. Um, for a full day now, pain meds two days, so those have finally kicked in. So he's drinking his water, he's going outside, he's doing a lot better, so I think we're okay. We still don't know what is wrong, but we are treating the symptoms and his spirits seem to be back, so that's good. All right, that's it for this vlog. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, but I didn't want to end this with like sadness and anticipation, because that would be rude. Okay, love you guys, bye.